Hello everyone and very warm welcome to the channel. I cover stable diffusion models a lot. In very simple words, stable diffusion models are the models which let you convert text prompts into images and then with the help of these stable diffusion models, you can manipulate images in various ways. I create a lot of videos not only on stable diffusion models but of their various use cases. One of the easiest tools which I have used in the past is Stable Diffusion Web UI or Automatic 11.11. In many videos recently, I have been asked to give a very simple step-by-step -step tutorial as how to get this Automatic 11.11 .11 installed on your local system. So in this video, I am going to do exactly that. If you are looking to just get started in stable diffusion models and if you are just looking to generate images from text prompt and you want to do it through any UI, then I would highly suggest that you start with this automatic 11.11. So there are two names of it of the same product. It is also called as automatic 11.11 and also it is called as stable diffusion web UI and some people call it as ST web UI. It's one of the simplest GUI which runs on your browser and lets you use Stable Diffusion with a simple and user-friendly interface. Automatic 11.11 .11 was originally um, was the name of the creator. It was his GitHub username and that is how it has become the de facto name of this product. It has more than 100,000 stars on GitHub by the way and it is one of the coolest projects out there. It is so popular because it is very easy to install and it is very easy to use when it comes to image generation. But if you are looking to get really serious about stable diffusion models and how to use them, then I would suggest that once you have learned this automatic 11.11, move on to Comfy UI. That is unbelievably powerful and a real serious stuff. If you want to learn Comfy UI, go to my channel and then in this search box just type comfy ui and you will see that i have done heaps of videos on it especially this first one easiest tutorial on comfy ui is the one you want to follow and you will be uh, you will become from zero to hero in no time okay so let's go back to our automatic 11 11 so another thing is that this automatic 11 11 as i was mentioning earlier lets you do a lot of other things like in painting out painting color sketching prompt matrices upscaling loop back image to image text to image plotting textual inversion um, and then you can do a lot of other things which uh, i can't really describe all of them in this video but there are a lot of stuff if but again all of those has bit of limits. If you really want to extend it, go really powerful, go with Comfy UI. Anyway, so before I move forward and show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPU. So do check them out. Now, Let's go to my terminal. Here I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Now these same commands can be used on Windows and Mac with a little bit of a difference which I will also tell you if you are following along on a different operating system. So up till now everything is same. Let me clear the screen. I normally install the virtual environment with Conda and make sure that you go with Python 3.10 because that is what it is compatible with. There are ways to make it work with 3.11 and 3.12 Python, but I would suggest go with Python 3.10. So you can see that I'm creating this virtual environment with Conda. If you don't know what Conda is, please search my channel. I already have done heaps of videos on it and you, it is not mandatory. You can skip this step if you don't want to do with Conda or you don't have it. Okay, next up, git clone the repo of this automatic 11.11 and cd into it and that is done. And now we are into that. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's install all the prerequisites from the root of this repo by simply running this pip command which is pip install dash r requirements.txt. It is going to take a couple of minutes. So let's wait for it. 
it is going to install a lot of things. And it took two to three minutes, but everything is installed. Let me clear the screen. Now from the root of repo, just do ls-ltr to see the files. You see that we have this web ui.sh, this is for Linux. And then for Windows, we have this web ui.pat. If you are using Windows, now all you need to do is to just do dot slash web ui dot bat and it is going to start web ui on your windows on linux what you need to do you just need to first change the permissions of this web ui dot sh just like this and then let me clear the screen now it has made it executable next step all you need to do is to run this command web ui dot sh and it is going to start the automatic 11 11 on your local system and you see it is just installing the script and doing a bit more installation let's wait for it you can ignore this warning everything is installed now and you can see that it is downloading the default model of stable diffusion which is this version 1.5 pruned ema only dot safe tensors so let's wait for it to finish almost there And there you go, it has automatically launched this automatic 11.11 in the browser, which is running on my local host at port 7860, which is a default port of Gradio. And this is primarily a Gradio based GUI. So this is how easy it is to install this automatic 11.11 on your local system. If you remember, I also showed you a video with stability metrics, which you can also use to install this among other tools. Now, before uh, I show you further, let me also give a huge shout out to our sponsors, AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily, and at scale. You can use a Python <coughs> SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. AgentQL is a robust alternative to fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. Okay, so that's said and done. Let's go back to automatic 1111 11. and here all you need to do is to just give a prompt here but before that of course from this drop down select your model model is selected and from you you can just say that a uh, rising sun behind k2 mountain and then you can just yeah you can just uh, blurry or something deformed unnatural something like that and then you can click on generate and it is going to generate the image for you on the right hand side there you go look at that within few seconds with just a text prompt i was able to generate this image it is a k2 which is world's second highest peak uh, which is located in pakistan and you can see that the sun is there it's not blurry at all and you can even see the snow um, in the sun how good is that and i haven't really put any effort in the text prompt but still stable diffusion model was able to create this awesome image with the text with this model and it was so easy because we were using this automatic 11 11. so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this um, this is how you can do it in windows mac and linux so easily there is no other difference at all if you're still struggling, feel free to put it in the comments. I'll be happy to help out. If you like the content, please go to my channel and consider subscribing to it. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.